this week's Ask Kristen question, I'm going to talk about something that I haven't really talked about before, partially because it is a highly polarizing topic that tends to get a lot of people riled up. <laughs> superficial week on Stuff Mom Never Told You because on Monday I kicked things off with five girly fashions that men wore first. And I followed that up with do women wear too much makeup? And on Friday it was seven ways shy people say hello because guess what y'all? I'm shy and I sometimes have a hard time saying hello. Now I want to ask Kristen. First of all, thanks to everybody who watched and commented on last week's Ask Kristen video. Are pretty people stupid? A couple comments jumped out to me about not just face stereotyping, but boob stereotyping. Thalia Irwin said, from my experience, it's worse when you are busty and pretty. I'm an hourglass figure with straight A's for grades, but F cup breasts, and people tend to assume that my bust size is the same as my letter grade. Mrs. Threehorn said, I'm a moderately attractive double D brunette woman in her early 20s. Many people at work think I'm a complete airhead. They're genuinely surprised when I talk about computers and ask me how I know so much, like they're talking to a toddler. Clearly though, it's not just limited to Mrs. Threehorn's workplace. So I'm curious if other busty ladies out there have experienced similar kind of boob-related stereotypes. Let me know in the comments. Now for this week's Ask Kristen question. Keep a Flame wants to know, do you think men should have a say in abortion? Yes, up to a point, up to the ultimate decision whether or not to carry a pregnancy to term. I don't think that women should be forced against their will to complete a pregnancy. However, I don't think that that is a sufficient answer because it is such a polarizing and now such a politicized, well kind of always such a politicized topic. We spend all of our energy just getting to that point and yelling at each other of like, no, yes, yeah. so there's little if any energy left to talk about more of the nuances of men and abortion. If we societally want to raise up men to be good and active and interested fathers, I think that this is also another piece of that too, of leading up to that as part of comprehensive sex education, men need to know about abortion as well. This is also an area though that would benefit from more scholarly research and empirical data about men's roles in abortion. The small number of studies that have been conducted on this do find that men experience emotions around this in the same way that say in the case of miscarriages. I think it's important to take that into account. I think it's important particularly for couples who are going through this and who make that decision to have a more holistic approach so that your relationship moves on from it more smoothly. Professor Boyfriend and I, in my experience, we have had the abortion talk and we've had it at multiple times down the road as our relationship has gotten more and more serious. Ultimately, if we are at a point of disagreement, well, the, <laughs> the tie goes to the uterus. I'm honestly sweating talking about this. I think I'm getting I think I'm getting an abortion flush. It shouldn't be this hard to talk about. All the more reason why abortion should probably be something that you should talk about in maybe even the earlier phases of dating when, when you're deciding whether you want to actually be in a real deal, holy feel kind of relationship with that person. If he is of a differing opinion as you, well, and I also think it's important to discuss men's roles in abortion in the context of not being in a relationship with that person. If it's the result of a hookup or what I think is a very responsible portrayal of that, uh, you can watch the hilarious comedy starring the wonderful Jenny Slate called Obvious Child, which was all about that. And it was so refreshing to watch because A, she was not demonized for wanting to have an abortion and the guy was involved. It also seems like with this question of should men have a say in abortions, there is attached to that this assumption that women aren't telling men when they decide to terminate a pregnancy. And actually, the limited research that has been conducted on that suggests just the opposite. There was a 2011 study out of the Guttmacher Institute looking at this based on a nationally representative study of almost 9,500 women who had gone through with abortions. Almost all of them had consulted or alerted their male partners to this. Almost all of them said, yeah, the men were completely supportive 
of their decision. Exposure to intimate partner violence was a major contributing factor in this study for women who did not tell the biological father about the pregnancy. 7% of the women reported post-abortion intimate partner violence. But on the whole, it seems like when abortion happens, a majority of the time, men are involved in that conversation and are typically supportive of the woman's decision to terminate a pregnancy. In fact, there was one study I was looking at to where I think it was 40% of the women were fully convinced to get an abortion because of the influence of their male partner who was not ready to become a father. I do think that there is a critical need for this to be less of a taboo topic that we really only fight about and that we polarize and that we frame in these very black and white terms. It should be part of comprehensive sex education and it should also be part of conversations with partners. If there is a possibility of pregnancy happening between two people, then those two people should know where the other person stands. Is it the most fun topic to discuss? Us? No, but I think it is highly important that we talk about it and that we talk about it with each other and that we talk about it with men too. Guys, I don't want to speak on your behalf, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, let's see if it's possible to have a conversation about abortion that doesn't get real mean and nasty and name collie. That would be amazing. Please make it happen in the comments below. Ask me your questions so I can give you some answers. And sometimes rashes if I'm talking about something I'm a little nervous about.